Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're going to be going over the Deluxe Dev Dream 3D Unreal Engine bundle with over 4,000 assets. And this is on Humble Bundle right now, brought to you by Machine Gun Studios. And it comes with tons and tons of very large and expensive packs that now you can get everything for, for just 30 bucks. So of course I got this. Um, this was a no brainer for me and probably for all of you guys watching. Feel free to check out my link in the description below to support my channel. It'll take you directly to Humble Bundle, which I'm affiliated with. And if you want any other assets or support me on Patreon, the link's in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started and actually review and go over some of these packs. All right, the first pack we're going to be going over is the Feudal Japan pack. So as you can see, it looks very much uh, Japanese style. You can even see some sort of grainy type filter in the sky with really amazing backgrounds along with this, along with this Japanese structure in the far back, like covered in trees. And there are these lanterns and it's very towns like kind of like what you'd expect in Japan and overall really high quality assets looks amazing. And there are just tons and tons of assets to look over as well as even a lot of nature environment stuff. And yeah, this definitely looks very cinematic. -y. Um, and if I go out here, you can see the amazing environment in the backgrounds. There are giant mountains, trees, clouds, and the textures on the grounds look pretty hyper realistic to me. And there are some background textures on the ground for performance measures, which is really, really nice. And there's this fog coming out that you can see is coming from those mountains as the snow melts and evaporates into these little clouds that are surfacing. And there are a bunch of restaurants, houses, buildings, and so on. And yeah, overall, a very amazing pack. And this is the medieval village pack. And as you can see, this environment looks really, really, really nice. You have this front gate for this medieval village with castle-like structures, giving me very For Honor vibes. There's really nice torches on the side of the buildings, uh, a lot of the wind affecting the trees, get, making it very lifelike. A lot of very realistic looking fruits and stalls and shops, along with fire, and you can even see the gas coming out of it. When the temperature changes, the air kind of looks vibrant. And there are interiors. This would actually make, this would look really nice in some sort of game like Skyrim or even a horror game, honestly. And you can see in the background, there are trees, even more castles up there. Uh, some birds circling the castle, I think. We'll get closer and see it in a moment. And just a lot of snow and fog up the, on the grounds of these mountains. And you'll see up here, it looks like another village because their flags are different colors and some really distant birds you can put in the sky. Probably don't want players to be too close to that, but it definitely looks really good in the distance. And it's just a really nice setup of buildings and fountains. And these ground textures look absolutely amazing. And now my personal favorite out of all the packs we've seen today is the stylized village. It's called a stylized village fat pack. This is giving very Studio Ghibli vibes, especially with that giant windmill in the back and those wind lines. I love how the trees look from a distance and as you get closer to them, they get more and more detailed. The grass and environment to me is lovely, but let's get back to the buildings. And these are all very modular structures. You can place every single, you can place every single part and assemble them however you like. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really loving how the textures look on these buildings. And here's the waterfall along with some lily pads and a ton of stylized grass and plants. Um, this would probably honestly go well with my Cinti assets as well. And yeah, I'm actually really excited to try these out in my future project. So you'll probably be seeing this pack a lot in my future tutorials. And yeah, overall, just a very beautiful pack. I just love stylized stuff. And this is the Brook Industrial Town pack. Comes with a ton of industrial looking buildings along with some poles, electric poles, bridges, construction type stuff. I could see this being really well utilized in a shooter. And it even comes with some nice foliage, lamps, uh, quite a few buildings, really nice brick looking textures, even some of these containers, cardboard boxes, barrels, and so on. One thing I really do appreciate is this fire and smoke effect that you see in the back and some really nice pipes along with some dirty water. And yeah, really, really nice looking pack. Let's move on to the next one. And this is the Bazaar pack, just a lot of shops in a forest-like environment. Just a lot of shops in a Middle Eastern looking environment. Uh, it even comes with these really, really nice looking palm trees. I'm actually obsessed with these tropical style foliage. So I will definitely be using that. And yeah, overall, really high texture, really high quality. I love it. It feels like it's based out in Persia. And yeah, definitely giving very Assassin's Creed vibes. There's also some indoor stuff that you can play around with. And this is the Cyber Town, very cyberpunk inspired. As you can see, there are some parked cars and as well as moving cars, lots of neon lights everywhere. 
and just a very futuristic city overpopulated in one area giving me very cyberpunk vibes along with some hologram screens that look really nice and this is the daytime version and they're even flying cars on top so you can see there's air traffic and here's the same thing at night and when you look up you'll see the air traffic again and so on and this is the asian temple pack really really beautiful environment i really love the lighting of this level it's a really nice sunset that's glazing down on the entire map uh, i love that the temple is based on a hill and yeah overall a very very nice asset pack i actually didn't think this one was going to be this good but to be fair it is machine gun studios and they only deliver top quality products so i don't know why i'm surprised but i just act i just really love the lighting of this one and the foliage looks amazing too and yeah this this is probably my top three of their packs so far I really, I really like this one. And the last bundle I'm going to be going over is this Gothic interior pack. There is a mega pack one, but I am going to make a separate video on that because that's really, really big to cover. And you can see it's very Souls-like. Tons and tons of assets here of a Gothic interior structure. And it's just a full-on ready-made cathedral. So, for example, you can go up here, go in one of these doors. So you can go up here, go in one of these doors. And you'll see there are hall hallways already made, which go around and lead you back downstairs. So going down the stairs here, and you can see the nice glass walls or glass panels and these creepy statues and just really high quality looking chandeliers, as well as just a very creepy vibe. And yeah, very abandoned, creepy like church vibes with the destroyed furniture and could definitely see this as some sort of boss room or just some entryway of something crazy happening in your game and that pretty much covers our machine gun humble bundle pack feel free to use the description the link in the description below to get it today and support my channel and other ways to support my channel would be to use my patreon link in the description below thanks for watching code is row like subscribe comment below what you want to see next and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching